There is growing opposition to a Canadian firm's plan to build a gold mine in Costa Rica. We first told you about Infinito Gold's billion-dollar battle with the Costa Rican government back in October. As Francis Savaggio reports, opponents of the project are now circulating a petition and taking to social media to voice their concerns. Behind the beauty of the Costa Rican landscape hides an ugly battle between a corporation's right to profit and a country's right to protect its environment. You're talking about um, an open pit gold mine in a, in a sensitive ecosystem. Calgary-based Infinito Gold has invested nearly 100 million in this region over the better part of two decades. The company thought plans for a lucrative project had been approved, but the government reversed the decision over approval of regularities and subsequently banned open pit mining altogether in 2011. Last April, the company served notice it planned to sue Costa Rica for $1 billion in lost potential revenue, a decision that has since rallied environmental voices around the world. It's brave for governments like Costa Rica, small governments like Costa Rica, to stand up to big multinational uh, corporations like Infinito Gold. Uh, what's happening in many cases is that governments are actually afraid to pass policies that would protect the, in, uh, the environment. The Council of Canadians and Mining Watch Canada delivered a 14,000 name petition to the company's annual meeting last month. Since then, this U.S. petition calling for Infinito to drop the lawsuit has been signed by more than 200,000 people. And Twitter has been inundated with comments like, sued for protecting rainforests, show Infinito countries such as Costa Rica won't be silently bullied by corporate power. Government like Costa Rica can do a lot with a uh, with billion dollars, and so it's a huge threat. Infinito did not return calls or emails today, but in an earlier statement, the company's Costa Rican subsidiary said while the public is entitled to its opinion, the company stands by its legal position that the Costa Rican government violated international trade agreements with Canada. Our hope is that the company would actually eventually respect public opinion and the democratic wishes of the Costa Rican people and, and not file the suit. So far though, there is no indication the company has changed its mind. Francis Salvaggio, Global News, Calgary.